Working between profiles. The first exercise is the construction of a half brick wall between profiles in stretcher bond. Firstly, calculate the total bricks you require to complete the wall and load out your materials as shown, allowing 600 millimeters for working space. In this demonstration, the line will be attached to the profile at one end using the line pin. There is no need for leveling at this stage. To ensure equal spacing of the bricks, dry bond the bricks using your forefinger as approximation for the cross joint. Don't measure the joints. All bed joints and cross joints are uniformly 10 millimeters with a nominal gauge of four courses to 300 millimeters generally being encountered. Procedures 1. With the line in position, construct the first course, working from left to right. 2. Remember, your brick hand should always be nearest to the wall. 3. The brick is set level to the line and positioned so that daylight can be seen between the brick and the line. 4. At no time should you touch the line. 5. At the end of the wall, always place the end brick to the profile first. Then lay the brick next to this last. 6. Raise the line to the next course. 7. When laying the next course, remember the bottom of the brick should be flush with the bricks below. 8. Remove the surplus mortar along the joint. This will prevent smudging of the bricks. 9. To check that the second course is central to the first, or half bond, position a brick as shown. Your bricks should be in line with this. If not, adjust accordingly. 10. When positioning the last brick, butter both sides of the brick. Bring into the correct joint required and allow it to meet the brick next to the profile, keeping both joints intact. 11. The third course should vertically align with the first. To check this, plumb the perp ends. 12. This is also done when vertically aligning the fourth course with the second. 13. Always keep your mortar to the correct consistency, otherwise you will need to hit the brick too many times. 14. Remember, keep your fingers out of the way when setting with the trowel. 15. When applying the cross joints in situ, you shouldn't touch the line.
For this exercise it doesn't matter, as long as you are working as an individual. If you are working with another person, they wouldn't be able to set their bricks with the line moving. Points to remember. Brick hand always closest to the wall. Brick flush with the brick below. Remove the surplus along the joint. Just daylight between brick and line. Don't touch the line at any time. Always remove the surplus from the rear of the wall. Jointing. Don't leave the jointing too late. Joint before the mortar is too dry. Joint finish for this wall is half round bucket handle or keyed. Remember, don't use the end of the jointer. Fill the top of the joints on the last course you laid. Complete the cross joints first. Complete the bed joints, ideally striking once only. Check for mouse ears. Rejoint if necessary. Remove surplus with your trowel flush to the wall. Don't brush yet. Inspect for any joints you may have missed. 